Crews are making progress tonight on a fire still burning in the Turkey Creek area south of Fort Carson. Winds were much calmer today, much improved over the gusty conditions that drove the spread of the wild horse fire yesterday. Good evening, I'm Heather Skoll. And I'm Bart Bedsold. Thanks for making us your choice for news at 6 o'clock. We want to get you right to an update on the wild horse fire broke out yesterday on just to the west of one of the training ranges at Fort Carson. And since then, it has drawn a lot of firefighting resources as rapidly shifting winds made for some scary scenes overnight. Mandatory evacuations were lifted today, but local residents aren't out of the woods just yet. We have crews tracking the firefighters and the weather conditions on the ground. Let's go first to News Channel 13's Julia Denovan for an update on what fire commanders are saying tonight. Julia. Bart and Heather, good news tonight. Firefighters are getting a hold on this fire. The fire is now 10% contained. And let me give you a look behind me. You can still see some smoke and you can see flames there where a tree just broke out in flames. Now, the fire being 10% contained means crews have secured a fire line around 10% of the fire directly cutting off flames. As previously reported, firefighters are also confident about some of the burnout they've been able to complete a little bit further away from the fire, which acts as a last resort ending point for the flames. However, they do hope to secure more fire lines tomorrow to try and stop the fire as quickly as possible. The Wild Horse Fire has burned nearly 600 acres since it started yesterday afternoon on the west side of the highway. The flames later spreading east to a Fort Carson training area, but I'm told there's no threat to people or buildings where it's burning. Highway 115 was closed this afternoon as helicopters did some water drops. I'm told there will be active fire and smoke from the fire over in the next few days. Now, this is, of course, a quickly developing situation. We'll keep you updated on CareDO.com and tonight on CareDO at 10. For now, I'll send it over to Storm Tracker 13 Sam Postage for more on how the weather could be affecting this fire. Well, good news, Julia. Uh, the winds have calmed slightly. Uh, we're only dealing with about 15 to 20 mile an hour wind gusts, and they're out of the southwest. So I do anticipate uh, some of that smoke to be traveling towards the uh, southern half of Colorado Springs. If you're in the fountain area, you might be uh, seeing some of the smoke and even smelling it at times. I've uh, noticed some ground crews off in the distance doing some back burning which is what they do to uh, burn some of the leftover dry fuels, just grassy spots on the ground to try and cut off uh, the fire from moving any further south. Um, so a lot of the smoke and little area, hot spots that you see off in the distance on this ridge line, uh, this is all Fort Carson property, of course, but uh, a lot of this was purposefully set um, so the fire wouldn't move any further south. So a lot of smoke coming out of the fire and also maybe just some areas of uh, patchy flames, but just small flames at the moment. Uh, we were seeing some uh, larger swells um, just about 15 or 20 minutes ago, but they have since died off as it seems like the winds are finally starting to take a break. And uh, hopefully overnight fire crews can continue to make progress on this fire. As Julia mentioned, we're up to about 10% containment with uh, all of the fire currently burning on Fort Carson property. Again, with southwesterly winds, I'd expect a uh, northeasterly flow of uh, a lot of that smoke towards the Colorado Springs area. Reporting from the Wild Horse Fire, I'm meteorologist Sam Post.